Have you ever dreaded meeting up with someone who talks all the time, sucks the air out of the room, and you don't have a chance to participate? Does it make you just want to close up, be quiet, get through the moment, and then go and breathe a sigh of relief and talk to someone else who actually wants to hear you and is interested in you? That happens very often when we have experiences in the past where we've tried to participate and join in and we've either been made to feel stupid, ashamed, insignificant or whatever and then we kind of stop trying altogether. So here's a tip on breaking that fear cycle and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to join in and be an equal. So the first thing to do is to remember that the fear that you're dreading, you're anticipating, is about the past and it's not about the future. You are expecting the same thing to happen again and it will if you allow those feelings from the past to overwhelm you and to allow all those stress hormones in your body to put you back in time. You will behave just like you did back in time and create a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So think about being in the present moment. Who are you? You have a mind, you have thoughts, you have opinions. You can ask to be allowed in. You can interrupt. You can give your point of view and you can challenge. Those are all things that you're perfectly capable of doing. And once you give yourself that power, you will find that the person you're speaking to doesn't behave like all those people from the past. They actually give you space because you're demanding it. You are taking what belongs to you, you're claiming your place at the table, and they will let you have it. Nobody wants to have a one-way conversation because it's unsatisfying. There's no sharing, there's no exchange, there's no mutual validation or exchange of views. So. Just remember that whoever you're talking to actually does want to have an exchange. They want to know what you think about what they said and vice versa. They're not ghosts from the past. So give yourself permission, visualize yourself at the table, taking stuff in, processing it, giving it out, sharing, exchanging. And the most important thing is to be curious about each other. That helps with equality. And when you do that, you will enjoy a mutually satisfying conversation and want to repeat it next time. And that old fear cycle will be thrown into the trash heap of the past.